This goes actually back to 2017 when I worked in immersive automation research project at the University of Helsinki. So this was something that I did after I did my master's uh, thesis. And in this research project, there was five case studies of five different countries that use news automation. And one of these countries uh, we chose to be China. Um, because we knew that China is using news automation, but we didn't really know anything else about it. And then I started doing the case study on the news automation in China and realized that there is no information about news automation in China, except that Chinese media outlets use it. So that's basically why I, why I chose China, because I happened to stumble upon like a research gap, like there, there was no information on it. So that's, that's why I chose it. Well, in, in my research, I'm mostly interested in natural language generation, uh, which is like um, algorithms and, and computer systems that produce um, language that, that mimics and is, is very aligned to the language that journalists write and use. So that is what I'm what I'm especially interested in in my research. Of course the news automation can also be uh, templates um, which is a very much uh, simpler way of, of producing news automation. So that's that's how I'm like defining uh, news automation uh, from the from the computer system side and then news automation in general. So I'm mostly interested like in, in daily daily news coverage and, and uh, general general news of like sports, um, economics, weather, um, but then also other other topics. Of course, um, all the journalists, no matter what country I've been, been like from what country, uh, when I've been talking to them, and if they have not worked with news automation, they are always very scared of that it's going to take their job and they're going to like you know run, run out of things to do. So journalists feel that it's it's very much of a risk. Um, but then again, like like studies and research shows that a lot of news automation actually does things that journalists cannot do or that hum humans cannot do because uh, because of the amount of data there's so much data to be gathered and analyzed and unprocessed so like no 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 human could ever do that and then also that it, it releases journalists from like you know the boring tedious tasks um, so in that sense I'd, I'd say it's not like a risk to, to journalists but of course like if you can be as a journalist, replaced by a news automation system, then well, you know maybe you should be doing something else. Like you know, if if the only thing you can do as a journalist is r to write repetitive tasks, well, is that you know even really journalism? <laughs>